What's up guys, it's James. Today we're playing Pokemon Cafe Remix, and I have not made a video in a while. I've been on vacation, trying to soak up the summer, maybe not play as many video games, but not really succeeding at that either. <laughs> um, in the time I was gone, I was able to switch out my profile a little bit. Um, I have the shiny Chandelure, which I love this Pokemon first of all, but I'm very enthralled with the, the green version with the orange flames. It, it just looks sick. Let me know in the comments if you also think it looks sick, because it, I think it looks sick. Anywho, today we are not actually talking about Chandler. We are talking about tips to get five-star Pokemon without spending any money. I've heard a lot of complaints from people saying that they wish they had the five-star Pokemon that came from the events. They're too hard to get. I can't do one minute cooking mode without them. So I thought I'd make a video for you guys on some ways that you can find five-star Pokemon without having to pay any money and grinding naturally through the game and eventually getting one without putting in much effort at all or money, right? More importantly, the money. So my first tip for you is to save up acorns. And this is my first tip because the most likely way you're going to get a five-star Pokemon is through the deliveries. They'll often be released in deliveries as special Pokemon, like the Enroute Pokemon for this season happens to be the Tropical Vaporeon. Uh, it's a Pokemon that you have to get in a delivery. That's the only way you can get it. So what you can do is wait the 23 hours a day to grab your one free delivery every day and hope it's a five star. Most often it will not be. There's a very low chance of it being a five star, but a lot of times through my years of playing this game, I have acquired a five star on accident just by doing this. So it is possible, but it is rare. It's maybe only happened a couple times in a year, I think, it just kind of reflecting back on how often I've gotten them. What I would suggest that you use your acorns for is the express deliveries. This is kind of a mixed thing, but I believe that you get a lot of value out of the 30,000 acorns, where it says includes extra one delivery. You can get 11 deliveries for the price of 10, which which is a good value in my opinion. I think it's a worthy way to spend acorns. There are some pretty bad ways to spend acorns in this game, such as refilling your your energy or things like that, things that are very fleeting. But this is something that can help you increase the levels of all of your Pokemon because not only if it doesn't work out, you'll have other Pokemon that that get hearts attached to them, and then their, their base power will increase in the game. So it can only help you. And if those Pokemon are maxed out anyway, you're able to redeem those as cookies, which help you to boost other Pokemon from events. So it's, in my opinion, a good thing. So saving up acorns is my first tip. The best way to do this is just to play through the orders, make sure you max at them out each time. Um, it doesn't really help to get into the Master Cafe thing, but do as many orders as you can, as you can. Participate in events, that's another great way to get acorns. Currently the event is the executor event. If you look at the rewards, I actually don't think you can look at the rewards for, for this event, but Often what will happen is you will have an ability to exchange for things that can help you boost up your Pokemon. And Acorns is one of them, but in my opinion, it's not a super great investment. You're not going to get many Acorns out of this, but it's a way you can get Acorns. But any of these items can help you eventually progress through the game and get more Acorns. So it all goes back to getting more Acorns. That's the best way to keep the momentum going and work towards those five stars. 
One additional tip though, before you decide to go spend all your acorns on deliveries, wait for events in this game that center around acorn spending. Because if you spend acorns during that time, you will get additional rewards. So you may want to wait for those. So don't purchase them all at once. So that's why I have 283,000 saved up right now, because I'm waiting for that event to come around again. Eventually it will, but in the meantime, I don't need to spend those acorns. I can just sort of wait it out. So that's my first tip. Second tip is to always participate in deliveries. Always do it, no matter what. Um, make sure you log on every day and grab your delivery because, again, that's the most important thing you can do to try to land a five-star on your own. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything, and it's a pretty mindless thing to do. And you don't have to spend money as a result. It's not the greatest tip in the world, but it's going to get you a lot closer than doing nothing. So those are my tips for grabbing your five-star Pokemon. Eventually, you're going to get one because there are many five-stars out and they just kind of keep them in the bank during those delivery periods. Whenever you participate in the delivery process, those Pokemon that are five-stars are considered. If you get the, the purple package, it's, oh boy, here comes a, a really rare Pokemon or a really rare outfit of some sort. You know, that's that's really great. So in my collection over the past couple of years I've been playing this game, I've gotten Mew. Uh, who else have I gotten? Uh, Victini. Both of those were accidents, just stumbled upon them. Um, I got Zerua, which I paid several acorns for in an 11x del 11 delivery during one of those events. And Snorlax. I think I have a few others, but... It's really hard to tell, and I don't really want to sift through these Pokemon to, to show you. But I have at least four, and having one for sure is going to help you during those one-minute cooking events. So don't be discouraged. Keep working towards it, and participate in deliveries, and spend acorns wisely. Those are my tips for you. Hope these, this helped you out a lot. If you like this video, subscribe. There are more videos coming out. I try to post every Wednesday of every week. That's sort of my intention for right now. And I hope you're going to have a great day. And can't wait to see you in the next one.